Hey guys, it's Drew here at Card My Eye, and today I have a project to share with you. I thought this was definitely a project worthy of sharing on YouTube, because a lot of my projects I don't share on YouTube, I just share them on my, on my blog, because I like to get sort of a collection of layouts or something before I share them. I just feel like one layout in a video is just a waste of a video, if you know what I mean. So I like to do um, where you get more of um, like an idea of a couple of projects I've done, or something like that. That way it doesn't waste your time just watching one project, because I don't know why, I just feel like it, it takes up time. So I actually made um, a project, but I definitely feel like this is a project that is worth of sharing by itself. I created this altered journal cover, and I am so excited with how it turned out. This is what it looks like. It's one of the Prima Memories alter or Prima's Memories uh, art journals, and I will put the link. If you click on the the link to my blog post that corresponds with this project, will be in the down bar below, and I've linked all the products I've used on this whole album with it in the down bar below. And also keep in mind, we're having a 25% off sale on our whole website. I'm going to do a video about that tomorrow, but in case you're watching this and you want to know, um, our website will be in the down bar below as well. So, And all of the products that are linked go to the website. They're All the products I use are on my website. So it's all on my blog. If you want to check out the blog post, it's in the, it's in the down bar below. But um, this is the project um, I created. It is... Uh, a journal cover as you can see the inside has all of these journal pages in it So it's a journal cover and I'm actually going to be doing the inside pages on camera over the course of like the next year or whatever I'm just going to be doing one here and there um, I don't even know where to start so basically what I did for the background if is if you could see this is I started off by using some matte medium which is this right here it's the multi medium in matte I started off using that and coating the whole background, or actually, I didn't. I actually painted the whole background with gesso first, because you do get this um, pattern. It's a canvas cover that has this sort of um, vintage pattern on it, and I, it wasn't um, something I wanted to show through on my project, so I painted it with gesso first, and then I used my matte medium and laid down thick layer all the way across the whole book, and I laid lace down the whole book. Um, right in this general area. I didn't put any in the top corner. I put it all right here because I knew that that was where I want, wanted my embellishments to go. So you could probably see a little bit of the, of the lace through here, just right in there. And there's some like even down in there and just in other random spots on the project. So there's some lace here and there on the project. And um, then I took a couple of paper strips, which are these right here. See these lines of paper that go across? I love the way that turned out. So I used a couple of paper strips and the paper I used was this sheet here from the Craftsman Collection, it's called Architect. So I use that one. Oh, and it looks like this, in case you were curious. The back side has this pattern on it. So I use that sheet to um, cut a couple pieces off and just use them as strips, and I sort of crisscross them underneath. I embellished a portion of it, so you can't really see where I put the paper on, but they are under this general area. And then I used a couple of metal gears from Prima, and let me see if I could find those. Here is my the, what's left after I've used some of them my little package of them. They come on a backer like like this, like this Junkyard Findings package it comes on one like that. So I used a couple of metal gears, I'll show you where. I used one right here, it's underneath in there. And then I did used one right here and one... Where's my other one? My other one is somewhere. I used three. It's like over here. It's probably covered, I probably covered it on accident, but it's somewhere over there. So I used three gears total and I just really love the way that turned out. And keep in mind, I am putting all these items on as before I'm even doing anything to them. So I am placing all of these items on my project first, and then I'm going to gesso everything. So that's why everything looks cohesive, and I'll show you what I mean. So I then put these gears on, and after I put the gears on, I use my matte medium again, and one of the Donna Downey masks. It's this one here from Prima. This is a Donna Downey Studios, and it's the Dots mask, and uh, I love this mask. I definitely suggest picking this one up. And I just put it on the corner up here, and I used, again, my matte medium um, and a little palette brush to just put it on. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a, a dot texture up there, which I really like, and there's a, there's a little bit more... Um, in these down areas as well, but I sort of covered it up with the embellishing and stuff, so you can't see that as much. But um, after I did that, I keep in mind again that everything was nothing was painted or distressed yet or inked or anything. After I did that, I also added on some string. This is just some random string, and I used matte medium to hold everything down. It sort of cements it all down and makes it look 
really nice. So I put some string down and a little bit of tinsel twine or tinsel trim from Tim Holtz. And let me see if I have that out. Yes, I use this package here. I love this stuff. And we have a, quite a bit of it left in the store if you want to pick up some. This is a, the silver tinsel, tinsel trim from Tim Holtz. Tinsel twine is what it's called. And, um... I added a little bit right here, and you can see what cool effect it created. I added a little bit, and it just swirls around. And then I have a Studio Calico wood frame here. And I also added in a couple of the Prima flowers, which were, uh, where, where, where are they? They are the, um, the resin Prima flowers. I don't know where they are. They look like this, but they're not this package. I have the correct ones linked over on my blog. But I took a couple of them, and I just stuck them down. So I put one here. And one right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's what the one I used looks like. And I also used one right up in here. So I used three of those and just stuck them down. And those were red and white. So at this point, your your my album was looking really, like, odd. It wasn't looking very good. And then after I added all of my base down, or, like, the base, like, sort of background elements I wanted to put on my project, I went ahead and, um gessoed it. So I used the um, the Claudine Helmuth Studio Gesso, and I just sort of lightly gessoed it. I didn't completely smother everything with gesso because I wanted the details of everything to pop out, but after you cover it with gesso, it really makes everything look cohesive, as you can see. Oh, and I also added a couple of blings um, on here as well, which are also linked. So there are some blings on here. Like, there's two right there, and I'm sure there's more in other places. There's one right here. And there's a two right here. So I just put some blings all over the place. And I, I didn't want them to be blingy just because I felt like this project was not a blingy, blingy project. I wanted them to actually be covered with gesso just for the texture of it. So after that, again, I covered it with all with gesso. And then I started to spray. So I sprayed my background with three different colors. I used the um, Adirondack Color Wash in Espresso and in Stream as well. I don't know if you... I'm trying to get you guys to read that. There we go. In Stream. And lastly, in Butterscotch. So I used those three um, Adirondack color washes um, in ex Butter Butterscotch, Espresso, and Stream. And there are... These are awesome. Look at how pigmented. And I only used a couple sprays. So I, w I sprayed this area, as you can see, with the Butterscotch. And then I used a little bit of the... Um, of the uh, espresso up in here, and then I added a little tiny bit of the turquoise color right down in here, which is a stream color. And after I sprayed that, um, I went ahead and decided I wanted to do a border. So I don't know if you could see this sort of chunky uh, border I did, but I basically took a paintbrush and dipped it in my um, matte medium and just ran it across the edge all the way around the book. So it created this border that went around it, and I just it over that. Um, then I started to add my big embellishments. So, for the big embellishments, I used some of the Banda flowers, and also some of the Puccini flowers, and I don't have any of the, the Banda or the Puccini, because I did use them on my projects. We have them in the store, though, so if you want to pick them up. But this this is the Banda flower here. It is super big, and it was yellow, but I sprayed it with the, um, the Espresso and the Butterscotch Mist, so it sort of got this really pretty vintage effect. And do you see this gorgeous center I have in here? These are the beaded Teos, and it comes in a package of two. This is the other one. Look at how pretty that is. I love the Teos. Um, just so gorgeous. So there was another one up here, which I used in there. So I used that one as well, and then I used a couple of other flowers. I used a whole package of the, um, I forget what they're called now. What were these flowers called? These were the Puccini flowers which I used um, right here. I sort of used them. I folded them in half and tucked them out of the book binding. So there's a couple here, a couple there, and there's one in the background here. I don't know if you could see that or not. And there's a couple more in here just to add a little bit more fullness to the project. So I added a couple of the Puccini flowers, and then I used all of these other flowers right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right there, are all flowers from one pack. You get an assorted um, color family, and I don't know, maybe I could find you. Oh, here, here's a pack. I used a different color scheme, though. I used the autumn pack, but this one is the, uh, I don't know what color pack this is, but it's the pinks and purples, but I used the one called autumn that has, like, burgundies and this yellow color. Here's an, a leftover flower. So I just used a couple of those on there, and then I resprayed it all with these um, three colors again. 
And then I decided I wanted to give it like a darker effect because at this point it was kind of bright with the white and the colors. So I went in and painted with the studio, um, the studio, what is this? Uh, semi-gloss acrylic paint in charcoal black. I want you guys to see this. This is what it looks like. I used that next and I just painted over this top area over here across the borders. And I also painted like a lot of my embellishments with the black and then I just topped them off with a little bit of white. I also included in a resin frame from Prima as well. These are the windows, the resin windows. So I included in one of those, just right in there. And I used a couple of uh, plastic birds I had in my stash. And this right here is um, vintage film, and I can actually show you it. It's pretty awesome. It looks like this. I got it from my friend Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Um, it looks like this. It's just like a film canister, and it has all this film in it, and I really love the way it looks on there. So I just added in a little bit of the vintage film and just coiled it up. And um, then a little wooden branch right here. These are the wooden branches here. So, um, and then a really fun little one of these, which are the the uh, typo zippers. And I have the package here. You get eight of them in a pack. I love those. Those are a must-have, in my opinion. And that was really everything. So, um, I was wondering if you guys would want me to do a live, or not a live video, but a video on YouTube, like, from start to finish of a cover like this. Would you be interested in something like this? Um, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of this album. And don't forget to check off our, check out our website. It is hopscotchcrafts.com. All of the products I used on this are on the website, and we have over 500 products, and it's all 25% off right now with the coupon code um, end of the year. I will put that on the screen right there for you guys. So you get 25% off your order. It's really great. Um, and it's only for the next couple days. So make sure to pick up stuff while you can. Just wanted to share this with project with you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.